Perfect, so we're here with John from Cubicle 7, uh, publisher of Role Playing Games. That's right, yeah. Now there's been some recent news about the Warhammer Fantasy line that uh, you That's guys right, are picking yep. up. Yes, yes. What, uh, what can you tell us about the, the system and what's, what's coming in? Well, so we're doing two separate game lines. Okay. Uh, this year we're going to do Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th edition. Brilliant. And that's going to move things back to the 1st and 2nd edition. If you're familiar oh. with those, there'll be a lot you'll recognise in, in the new edition. But also kind of bring it up to you know, 2017 standards for role-playing games. We're still um, firmly set in the old world. In yeah. the old world, yes, absolutely in the old world. We're also doing the, in 2018, the Age of Sigmar role-playing game, really? which will be set in uh, Mortal Realms, and we'll get to explore that setting a lot more. That one is a bit earlier in development right now, okay. but yeah, that will be its own self-contained game line. The two won't use the same rules. Excellent. So the, so the rule set's changed over the years from D100 to a card and token based mm -hmm. system. Yep. Can you talk about what kind of system you're using for yep. fantasy? D100. 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 Yes. Yep. Yep. We're moving back to that, kind of back to its sort of 30 year anniversary. Next year's the 30th anniversary of the Enemy Link campaign. So we kind of want to celebrate that with moving back to the D100 system that people are familiar with. Brilliant. So lots of nods to the original game. Yes. Yes, definitely. Excellent. I mean, we all. Uh, Dom, who's my boss and who owns Cubicle 7, he's played it since it came out. As am I, I'm the creative director. We played the original since it was released. It was Dom's first ever role playing game, so there's a lot of love and a lot of experience with one with person role playing. Excellent. So there's been loads of expansions over the years. Mm -hmm. taking, you're taking influence from all of those and yep. Yep. potentially seeing new iterations of them in the future. We, maybe? we would like to go. We've got some plans. There's a, there's a good you know, two year plan, uh, and we want to go to some places maybe we haven't been before. Brilliant. As well as bringing back some old favourites. Yeah. Excellent. Do you have a rough release slot for the game? Uh, quarter four for this year quarter for Wampers World War, so towards, towards the end of the year. And then next year for Age of Sigmar. Excellent. Brilliant. So apart from uh, Warhammer, what other ranges do you currently uh, produce? So we do uh, Adventures in Middle-Earth, which is uh, OGL 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons setting. Yep. Um, that's going to be well for us at the moment. We also do The One Ring, which is a bespoke Middle-Earth setting. It's really, really good. Uh, Doctor Who Roleplay game and um, loads and loads of stuff for that here we've got a couple of new releases for that here at the show uh, we also do card games and dice games so we do Doctor Who Time Clash which is a really good game signed by Jeff Tidball where the Doctor fights the Daleks and then releasing a separate fights the Cybermen uh, what else have we got yeah Dalek Dice is a push your luck dice game that's designed by Francesco Nepotello who you might know from the War of the Ring and yeah, yeah. Dalek, huge games what else do we do I'm looking now to remind us <laughs> what we do lots of Cthulhu stuff um, yeah all kinds of things. Brilliant. So you're at this show all weekend, yes, so keep going down and check out all your yep. systems. Yep. Please Brilliant. Yeah. So we always end with a couple of random interview questions. Okay. At least. So what's your favourite sprue, miniatures wise, of all time? Or oh, it'll probably be something out of Silver Tower, Ooh, nice. I reckon. Uh, I'll be probably the Maybe the Oh, very nice one. Well maybe I'll go for that one. Yeah, maybe the awesome. maybe the, the dwarf guy. Maybe both good. And what's your uh, brew of choice while while playing the game? Ooh, uh, probably some kind of golden yellow hammer, probably something like that. Brilliant. Golden ale, I think. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we've been Sprues and Brews. Be sure to check out these guys' games, and we'll be no doubt having a full review when the uh, fantasy game's out. Yeah, looking forward to it. Cheers. Thank you.